1983, 1987 and 1992, mock elections were held by the school to coincide with the general elections. The six formers standing in as candidates. In the 1980s, Hagley produced three footballers of significant quality. The first one was Darren Wassell. Then it was Vince Bartram. And of course, there was Lee Sharp, who still visits the school regularly. Today. In 1989, Hagley became 30 years old and become quite a vibrant community after 30 years of history. And by this stage, there were 45 teachers rather than the few that were there in 1959. In 1992, more construction took place at the school with the building of the MEV block. In 1993, and what's been described by Mr. Roberts, whose book has inspired this documentary, described as a tragedy beyond imagination. And on the 18th of November, a minibus crash happened with students inside it. The school has never forgotten you since, and never will. In the 1990s, Hagley made another splash on BBC television when they entered the robot into Robot Wars, Series 1. This robot was called Barry. It lost its first battle. However, they came back in Series 3 with a renamed robot called Sonic. It won its first battle to a robot called Hammertron, and it was then defeated by Chaos 2, which I have a model of here. This robot eventually won Series 3 and then defended its title in Series 4. And so to commemorate this event, we're going to recreate our own Robot Wars battle in miniature. Please welcome into the arena Tornado, winner of Series 6 of Robot Wars, and is here today to beat his opponents by ripping them to shreds with his spinning disc and his spikes at the front. And please welcome Sergeant Bash, the house robot of Robot Wars, and is here to flame, grill, cut and slice your opponents to smithereens. Right, for this fight, I will be controlling Sergeant Bash. And Ashley? I have Tornado. Roboteers, stand by. Three, two, one, activate. Would you in fact, explain to everybody what we're doing here. The backs of these robots will come off to reveal a uh, disabled button which your opponent can press. If they're pressed three times, your opponent is out. Also, if you go off, you're also out. So, we've got to be a bit careful here. I'm just going around in circles at the moment. Oh, that's my back's off. Oh, Ashley's off and he's out! <laughs> Round two. Robot ears, stand by. Three, two, one, activate. Okay, that Round, was nice. Round three. Robot ears, stand by. The decider. Three, two, one, activate. Oh, God, 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 God. Got him, got you pinned. You're under my control now. You're going to right take you go. He's off, he's driven himself out the area.
and the tournament century in 2000, Mr. Hill, the head teacher since 1978, retired and was replaced by the current head teacher, Mr. Hammond. In 2008, the significant part of Hagley's history was finally realised, as finally there was a new sports hall opened on the site, one had been wanted by the school for about 30 years or so, and finally it was opened by Lee Sharp in the summer of that year. Then came 2009, and Hagley became 50 years old. And so Paul CV made this film for you to tell you the whole history. And pupils number had grown since 1959 as there was a thousand pupils at the school in 2009 and there were 60 staff. So, Hagley is 50. High five! And we re have reached the end of our documentary. No. Never mind, don't worry, he's fine. Now he's made it people, he's just a bit tired. Yeah, Carry on, he's anyway. finally appeared in one of our videos. He is our mascot. Yeah, he's right. worn out after all this film. If you didn't know. Anyway, we'd just like to say a special thank you to Mr. Roberts, the head of history at Hagley, as this booklet of his, which he produced on the history of the school, has helped us make this video. And I'm sure has made you see just how much history Hagley has. So we're going to have to say goodbye to all of our viewers now. So, let, in traditional Pulse TV style, let's do a re- Two, one, goodbye, goodbye. and high five.